It's time to put our detective hats on, guys and gals. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest video game mysteries. For this list, we'll be looking at moments in video games that had us questioning whether or not they were intentional, or if they were bugs, Easter eggs, or had a hidden meaning that hasn't been discovered yet. Whether they're solved or not, if it's got your brow furrowed and sends shivers down your spine, it's eligible for this list. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Number 10. Hell Valley Shadow People, Super Mario Galaxy 2. While the Shiverburn Galaxy is the official name of the location where you can find these terrifying creatures, game files dictate that Hell Valley was its original name, and it's not hard to see why. Extremes of heat and cold are said to be contained in different circles of hell in certain scriptures, as are demons, which might be why these sky trees or shadow people observe Mario from the skybox. These terrifying figures have elongated limbs, open mouths, and empty sockets where their eyes should be. Why they're placed there? No one truly knows. Number 9. The Fetus from Hell, Earthbound. There's no denying that Earthbound is a weird game. Sure, it's got cute graphics and fun characters, but its visuals and some of its concepts are just bizarre. It's also strangely mature for a kid's game, subtly exploring themes of violence, abuse, and depression, and for a lot of parts, it leaves a lot to the imagination. Many of these themes have been brought forth as a manner of controversy. Still, they pale compared to the theory that Gygus is a fetus when you encounter him, which had a lot of players wondering if it had a significant meaning. While this has been disproven by Shigesoto Itoi, the boss's appearance is still something that can't be ignored. Number 8. Herobrine – Minecraft A mysterious creature in the woods that many have sighted but none have been able to prove? Step away, Bigfoot, we're talking about Herobrine here. Herobrine is thought to look like your default character, only with white glowing eyes, and is the cause for many mysterious happenings in your world. Items going missing, land structure changing, craters, tunnels, and mysterious pyramids are some of the things Herobrine is thought to be the cause of. While there has been a lot of fake footage of the myth, some still believe him to be real. Number 7. The Number Station. Fallout 3. This is Margaret, and you're listening to, um, oh, the hell with it. This freaky mystery originated as a creepypasta and found that sweet spot of being just believable enough that it brought on many believers as they tried to replicate the events. After Three Dog is murdered and the player meets a few other prerequisites, the GNR station supposedly becomes a numbers station which spouts numbers and Morse code. Well, prepare to be enlightened. Players who have supposedly cracked the code found a few of the messages to be trivial or even comical, with others having a more sinister undertone as some even predicted, falsely, the deaths of prominent people. It's obvious you're narrow focus and can't see the bigger picture. Number 6. 1987. Five Nights at Freddy's. While the series may have overstayed its welcome, according to some, the first game was a cultural phenomenon, and to this day is still a terrifying experience. After you beat Night 6, you're able to jump back in and set specific difficulty levels for each animatronic. If you set the difficulty of each animatronic to 1, 9, 8, and 7, Golden Freddy pops up and crashes the game. The lore of these animatronic monstrosities has become quite expansive, and while we think we know who the jump-scaring Golden Freddy really is, there are no clear-cut answers at this stage. Uh. 
Number five, who is the G-Man? Half-Life series. Well, let's just say your hour has come again. Speculating on who the G-Man is probably won't fill the void of not having Half-Life 3 in our lives, but it does keep us involved in the universe. While he looks and sounds like a man, sort of, it's safe to say he isn't one. Miss Vats, you wouldn't need all that to imprison Gordon Freeman. So, who are you? He keeps an eye on you throughout the first game and utilizes your services in the second. We don't know his true motivations, only that he is a puppeteer, orchestrating events to play out the way he wants them to play out to serve his and his employer's purpose. No! I, I just want to go home. Send me home! I'm afraid you misunderstand the situation, Ms. Vance. Number four, what happens to the Chozo? Metroid series. While the concept of an ancient advanced race that has mysteriously vanished isn't quite an original one, the depth of the Chozo history does make it a more engaging mystery to solve. We know that they created the Metroid and Mother Brain to combat another enemy before they were turned on by their creation. What we don't know is why they have mysteriously gone missing. And not too long ago, too, as the surviving members of the race were saved by Samus at one point. Hopefully, we'll find out in a future title. Number three, what's going on? Inside. You know you've got a good game on your hands when the entire thing is a creepy mystery with nothing spelled out to you. The environments and level design do paint an unnerving picture that leaves a lot for us to interpret. Some sort of mind control is at the surface of everything, but we also have a giant amalgamation of bodies rolling around at the end, and a lot of the facility is underwater, home to long-haired creatures that try to pull you under, which leaves a lot of questions open. Number two, Karazan Crypt, World of Warcraft. The crypt, located in Deadwind Pass, is a locked off area that can only be accessed by glitching through the portcullis or walls. It's an unfinished piece of content that is home to all manners of horror. There are thousands of skeletal remains at the bottom of a mysterious well, and there is a section of the crypt that features corpses hanging upside down underwater. What did Blizzard have planned? Could it be connected to the children of Goldshire who walk around in the formation of a pentagram? It's a lot darker than most of the released content, which definitely has people curious. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Polybius Arcade Machine. Polybius. Did this arcade cabinet ever exist? It supposedly hit the market in the 80s, and people who played it experienced all sorts of ailments, which allegedly led to their end for some. Polybius might be... Every lead that I've ever gotten, I've exhausted. That's not to say there ain't someone still out there. Others say it was used as a form of mind control or to weed out the weak-minded to reveal strong-willed candidates for military conscription. Men in black suits were reported to download data from the machines. While a lot of the stories may have a hint of truth to them, Polybius remains an urban legend for now. 
These games are so old. Who got these high scores? Pilgrims? Hmm. Never saw this one before. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.